Ladies and gentlemen, this is Sir Cypher here with Let's Play Company of Heroes, The Fillet's Pocket, Mission 3. This is the final mission of the mini campaign. And uh, we've got to keep the pocket open and let our guys escape. Uh, it's not too bad, um, but uh, you kind of have to keep control of it because if it gets away from you, it's pretty easy to get overrun. But if you kind of... Uh, have a good strong defense it's pretty easy to hold the line and let all your buddies escape while you uh, protect the town damn high command all of this is starting to feel like one giant suicide mission our panthers are destroyed what hope do we possibly have we stayed longer than anyone could expect Expected by whom? By cowards? By idiots? I will not leave my fellow countrymen behind to be swallowed up by the Americans. We will not leave them behind. What, without communication from High Command? We won't know when to fuck High Command. Our last orders were to stay, so we stay. Then what will you have us do? Whoop ass. That's what we're gonna do. In mere moments, our brothers will be streaming in from the north, hopefully with some remnants of the Oberst's panthers. If we let the Allies take positions across the river, our men will run into a hail of bullets. We need to keep the Allies contained. Set up defenses along the river, here, here, and here. So I'm going to do something I normally don't do, and I'm actually going to pause the game at the beginning. Because um, I'm not going to really have time to explain what's going on once the game starts. So I'm going to pause the game just to kind of show you what's what's happening. So we have to defend the town. Now, for whatever reason, uh, we even though we defended everything, we lose these areas. They get destroyed. And additionally, the enemy has recaptured this area here and um, this house here. So we have to take those back for an objective. Now, um, pretty soon, our allies are going to come streaming down this path and to get to here to escape. Uh, mainly, we need to focus on this crossing up here. This is going to be the big one, and to a lesser extent, this crossing down here. Ready, Commander. So, Send your mission order. Um, we need to uh, get cracking. So I'm going to build some stormtroopers. Show up to river crossing points. Tank trips, barbed wire, them uh, calling a henchel strike here. The enemy has their little command truck right next to uh, one of our 88s. So we'll do that. We'll build a uh, 105 down there. And um, we'll head up here. Now they destroyed our 88, but I think we managed to destroy their command truck. At least we'll call them Firestorm on it too. The whole area will be in flames. Um, we'll take these guys. We'll head down. Where can I pick up? Hey, look at the Panzer Shreks. Excellent. So we're gonna prevent them from capturing that. The enemy's gonna blow up all of our. Um, our, uh, what do you call it, um, 88, so there's not much we can do about that, but what we can do is protect this area over here from the British, so we can build a, uh, 105 across the river, or not a 105, an 88. Now, something that we want to do is I'm going to build two Goliaths. And we basically want to have Goliaths at all of the bridges, especially these infantry bridges. Um, so if we have to, we can blow them if the enemy is going to cross them. Good. We must keep the allies out of the way and keep the evacuation route open. So um, the enemy is going to, or our allies are going to start showing up with. Uh, essentially um, destroyed vehicles and infantry and they're gonna kind of crawl their way across the map 
um, in order to escape. Now the secondary objective for this mission is to have a certain number of our allies escape. So we're going to do our best to make sure that happens. Now I'm trying to go over here to see if, the, if I actually managed to destroy their command truck. Because uh, it's actually kind of important. If you can destroy their command truck, it really puts a damper on what the enemy can do. Okay, so I destroyed their command truck, so I'm going to back off. And I'm going to build another 105 or another 88 here. And uh, I'm going to get another squad of, of uh, here we go, we'll have these guys go up here to guard. This is really the area we need to protect is right here. Um, the enemy is going to come across this river fast and furiously and uh, we need to protect it. The enemy will sort of come across this middle section, but it's it's a much less uh, problematic situation. Because uh, the middle section is a bridge, so if things get bad, if things get bad, we can just blow it up. But we obviously can't do that to the top or the bottom section because you know they're a river. So building this 88 here, um, I'm going to put tank traps in the river. The enemy's capturing all this stuff, but there's not much we can do about that. And I'll put my um, little squad there. So they blew up my 88, but hey, I can build another 88. Not a big deal. And we're going to go fight them back across this river. My, <laughs> with my Goliath squeezed between these tank traps. I'm just going to park my Goliath on this bridge. And uh, if things get bad, my Goliath will just blow the bridge up. So, there's that. Got a Goliath on this bridge. Got stuff down here. I'm going to put a teller mine right there. A teller mine is essentially like a, just a bigger version of a normal mine. And it um, is especially effective against... Um, well, it only will detonate against tanks. So I'm just trying to fight the enemies back here. Um, we have to build tank traps across this river for a stupid objective. But um, since 88s have such a long range, a lot of the time um, you, you need units to scout for them, which is what we're doing. Now, one thing we can do for this mission is if you click on a unit that's coming out, like escaping, it'll become yours as long as you have enough population cap to, you know, to do that. So I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna actually stealth these. Well, actually, I'm gonna stealth these guys and put them in the forest here, and I'm gonna have these guys guard the other side of the river. And I should actually send these guys down here. Oh shit! Coming across the river. Eh. <laughs> so, I blew up the bridge. So, it shouldn't, um... Should be okay. I'm going to get another two of these in case I need them. Now, one thing that, um... I got to build just even more tank traps for no reason. One thing I like to do if I have uh, guys who aren't doing anything is I'll have them repair these vehicles so they'll go faster. So like you can see all these vehicles are coming down and they're damaged engine but if you have your your troops just um, watch them for a second uh, or uh, you know heal them for a second they'll get uh, they'll get better. So I think the enemy is like mortaring me or something. Or maybe they're calling it artillery. Not a hundred percent sure. 
but um, I like to have some I like to have a, a Goliath ready because sometimes they'll repair the bridge and you obviously Can you hear that? American tanks. They're trying to cut us off. You can see here the enemy is trying to repair this bridge. But if I park a if I park a Goliath on it, obviously that's not going to matter because if they repair it, I'll just blow it up again. Now the enemy is going to keep shelling the middle map and trying to blow up my uh, 88 batteries, but nothing really we can do about that. It just says I lost a unit, but I don't know what unit that would be. Uh, oh shit! Whoa! Holy shit! Wow, these guys need to come. It's actually really bad if you lose a unit in this. Oh my Christ! It's really bad if you lose a unit in this mission because um, you you don't get that much manpower. But I guess I need to call in some more stormtroopers. Now where are my? So the enemy tried to fight my thing over there, but it got blown up by my. Uh... Where did I lose a unit? Not sure. Our base is under attack. Either way, I need more. Probably need an 88 over here. So let's see. Where did my? Go ahead, sir. Luftwaffe ready to move. Cannon team ready. Confirm. Luftwaffe ready. Hmm. Where are, where are these? Where are these guys? Ready to pass on order. Uh. Off into fight. Let's go. So yeah, I just have my uh, my stormtroopers scouting it out, and uh, they're being guarded by obviously lots of um, lots of stuff. I'm repairing these um, 88s. I have basically all the command points I need. There is a secondary objective that I need to reclaim these garrisons, but it's not really something that's practical for me to do right now so I'm gonna be waiting a little bit build some more stormtroopers I'll actually probably park this in the woods over here so it can get a little bit better viewpoint now I'll probably put another 88 right here So again, just a little bit of repair will fix the engines on these tanks and then they'll get through a lot faster which makes the uh, the mission a lot simpler. I guess they blew up my um, my um, Goliaths. We'll get some more Goliaths over here. Get a Goliath down here. The enemy advances. And uh, we'll get a Goliath. Um, I guess they could maybe fix this bridge, so I'll get a Goliath there protecting it. Storm squad here. Now I have my storm squad, stormtrooper squad, set to hold fire, so that if the enemy does come, they'll, uh, you know, they won't shoot. And my 88s can obviously shoot all the way across this river, and that's going to be yes, most of the uh, the action. Now, the reason I'm not capturing any of these vehicles is because there's nothing really that good that's shown up yet. Later on, there'll be Tigers and Jag Panthers, and obviously, you know, that's going to be what we're going to want. We're gonna, we, want <laughs> we want Tigers, we want Jag Panthers, um, we want Panthers, we want King Tigers. So, I'm just speeding all these little kind of, not really crappy, but less, 
less awesome vehicles on their way. And um, the enemy, normally they try and build trenches here. The British do. But um, because I have vision of them, they can't really do that. So, so I'm putting teller mines there. I'm going to send this guy over here into the forest. I think Goliaths, they stealth when no one, like they stealth when they're not moving. I'm not 100% sure. So I think if my Goliath goes and hides over here, they won't be able to see it. Maybe they can. Either way, it's distracting. <laughs> So the enemy is shooting across the river over here. That's not good. Hmm. Pair this Hotchkiss. I don't think I can build any more 88s. So that's a bit of a problem. Hmm. I think I might get rid of this 88 over here. Now, there's no engineers repairing it. The enemy kind of cheats, and they just repair stuff, even if they don't have any way of doing it. So I'm going to build an 88 back here in this, where it normally is. And that'll help cover all this. Attention. The enemy advances. Yes, sir. Come on. Look for here. And let's get moving. Under fire from the infantry. It says intercept American Panzers, but I don't know why it's saying that. Maybe it's these ones down here. Alright, somehow the enemies managed to capture this point back, so I might have to make a little excursion across the river here. And I need to repair this 88 before it gets blown up. This 88 is actually in kind of a bad spot, so I might actually get rid of it and just build another one as soon as these tanks are gone. Eh, I'll just blow it up now. It's in a bad position because it can't, it can't actually shoot down the road all the way. Come on, kill it. There we go. Uh, I think this is a better spot. It can shoot more directly down the road. So these guys have... I'm given an MG42. The enemy is attacking us. This is kind of weird. Alright, so this is a panther. That's kind of worth taking. So I'm going to steal this panther. And uh, the enemy kind of got a little bit across. Somebody uh, mentioned in the thread, like, can't your uh, Luftwaffe troops gain veterancy? And, you know, I'm not really sure because I've never had a Luftwaffe squad, you know, do anything noteworthy enough to, to gain veterancy. So, ah, shit, I didn't mean to take these guys. So I need to build another... Oh shit, oh shit. Over. The Canadians have taken 
I just re <laughs> I realized that they uh they were sneaking across the infantry bridge. That's why you have Goliaths ready to blow the bridges. So that can't happen. But anyway, um I need to build another 88 here. So as you can see, um, we have the secondary objective now. We have to evacuate X number of peoples. And uh, we're going to do that. One thing that makes it the evacuation a lot faster is if you... You you do you do what I'm doing and you make sure to repair all of these. Oh my goodness! Uh, these jerks. Whoa! Why don't you stealth? Camouflage! Camouflage! Base is taking fire. Escape out of here. I've got a Goliath here in case I need to blow this bridge again. Oh, you jerks. Oh, sweet. Do I have enough to get the... Yes! Okay, so... Let me repair this thing really quick so I can speed on out of here. So I'm going to have all my troops over here on this... Uh, my repair guys on this panther and this jag panther. Because um, that's going to give us the muscle we need to complete the secondary objective of retaking um, retaking the square. Although now I'm over pop cap. Well, we can get rid of these volks. And probably these engineers too. We have engineers up here. And uh, engineers have uh, advanced repair, or normal engineers just have normal repair. Luftwaffe have advanced repair, so they repair things a lot faster. So as you can see, um, we're doing our best to keep the road clear by repairing any vehicles that are coming down. And uh, we're getting pretty close to the uh, the end of it. So we lost a unit, and that's not cool. But what are we gonna do? For some reason, I can't repair. I can't reinforce this squad. Oh, stormtroopers cost eight pop cap. Hmm. Well, I need to get rid of those then, because that's too much. I'll just nab some grenadiers instead. You can't actually build grenadiers in this mission for some reason. Um, you can only build. Um, you can only build um, normal, normal grenadiers. Why aren't you guys repairing this stuff? Repair. So yeah, the enemy's up here. I need to repair this 88, but I also want to make sure. So I'll, I'll nab these. I'll nab these grenadiers. Denied. Pop cap full. What are you talking about? I didn't realize Grenadiers, each guy counted as two pop cap. Uh, normal Grenadiers, they only count as one each, so. I'll steal those. Ah, 
Oh, for some reason I can't reinforce the guys that I capture? Hmm. Well, I guess I just, I'll just build Volks then. I'll give them MP40s. I should be okay on anti-tank with a panther and a jag panther. I know there's a tiger that's coming up, but... Um... I guess I'll have to do with a, uh... With a panther and a jag panther. So we'll give MP40s to these guys. We'll head up here. The stall is ready. They keep calling in artillery on your base and just being big jerks. So we'll just repair these engines. No, nope, I don't want it. Sometimes you accidentally click on a tank and it gives it to you, even though you don't want it. But we've got a panther. Let's finish repairing this. We'll get this, um, this Jack Panther Parade. I'm going to pause the video really quick so it won't, um, so the video won't start skipping. Okay, so you can see they captured this building back, which I always thought was kind of some BS because, um, clearly we ended the game with all of our territory intact, but what are you going to do? Oh my goodness, the artillery. I guess I gotta back my panther up because I got pee it guys. So I'm gonna capture this really quick. And one interesting thing about how this objective works is that if you don't if you don't control it anymore, like if it's just dead, it doesn't matter. So I'm gonna call in a V1 and a firestorm on it, and hopefully that'll that'll blow the building up. So hopefully, well, boom, so we took care of that, um, they did something up here, did they blow up my V1? Nah, it looks like they didn't really do, oh my, you jerks, what assholes. So I'm trying to come over here and capture this point too. I lost a unit, probably that that 88. So I gotta rebuild it next to its all of its destroyed all of its brethren. So let's see here. All right, so well, I've got my um, Jag Panther repaired all the way. It's so time to kind of go on the offensive. Although my my grenadier squad seems to be very stealthily uh, turning the tide here, we almost have enough evacuees gone. Uh, see, there's another Panzer IV. Oh no! Jag Panther's not really gonna be in too much danger from artillery, but it's still annoying. So, uh, we'll come in here, we'll capture this, and actually, I'll build a bunch of RC cars for this purpose, and I'll start to call in the uh, artillery on it. And if I can't, I'll at least try and blow it up so nobody can have it. What happened to my Jag Panther? Oh, it's right there. Yeah, the enemy's just going to keep being annoying and dropping artillery on me. So it looks like one Firestorm wasn't quite enough. 
So I'll call in another. And then I'll have the Goliath squad. If I can, uh, I guess I don't have to retake this area. Oh, I have to retake that area, though, I just realized. So. What I'll do is, is I'll retake it, and then as soon as I retake it, I'll blow it up with the Goliath squad. Now, the most important part for this mission, in my opinion, is to really just to, like, manage your, to manage your, uh, your, uh, your crossings. And if you, oh, my Christ, if you, if you cover your crossings well, then, um, oh, my goodness, then it's going to be hard for the enemy to get in there. So I'll capture that. And I think that's it actually after that. What are you guys doing? Capture this house. Oh, are you serious? So I'll capture this house, and I think that's the last one. So yeah, I got the secondary objective for reclaiming the garrisons. And with that, um, it's basically time to beat feet and get out of here. Well, um... see how much we can uh it's not enough to blow the house <laughs> whatever the firestorm will take it out so um now that we've pretty much defended this crossing um we got 163 guys out go ready for you ready commander send your mission we just need to finish it off I think I have some engineers. Oh, I guess my engineers are all dead. You can see that the Jag Panther, because it's Panzer Elite, can actually gain veterancy. So, um, one thing that I can actually do that's kind of cheap to, um, increase the number of guys who escape really quick is your guys count as escaping as well so if you have your guys head over here um, they'll trigger the escape I'm having all these guys start to, to book it Let's see we've got another panther and a uh, Sherman there or a, 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 a panther and a panzer 4 The enemy's got a lot of Pia troops, but even Piats don't really do much to a uh, a Panzer IV, and especially not a Jag Panther. So you see, um, these guys, you see it's 164. Watch me get proven wrong, but I was playing this earlier, and I'm almost positive they count for the, uh, for the uh, evacuation. Huh, I guess they don't. Okay. I was wrong. But either way, we only need um, about 10 more dudes. Especially if we repair all these tanks. Uh, we should be out of here in no time. So I think this one's still got a damaged engine or something, so hopefully I can fix that so we can get out of there. Either way, um, 
it looks like we're pretty much done here. So, leave no man behind. Time to get everybody out of here. I'll break stealth on these guys. Have everybody start running for the exit. Because that's actually the uh, the end point of this mission. is Once all of your troops are off the map and retreated. So, except for like, sorry guys, on this 88, you don't get to leave. Um, but once everybody's off the map and retreated, the mission basically ends. So we're going to do that. We're going to start getting everybody off. There's a tiger there, but we don't really need it. My Jag Panther and my Panther will will hold this uh, hold this area while everybody else retreats. And um, everybody else is going to just start running off the map. He must leave. And I'll call in a bunch of um, Goliaths, just in case, but I think I'm going to be fine. I want to repair this tiger at least. We can't let set up such a mighty war machine get into the hands of the allies. Especially if uh, when, we, when I play the next mini campaign, uh, we can't uh, allow that because tigers are cool. So, so we got okay. So we got the tiger repaired. Time to book it. So we're gonna drive the panther out of here and the uh, jag panther. I'm trying to see if I have any other troops left. Oh, these guys. Yeah, they're retreating too. So everybody's booking it. I got a bunch of Goliaths here in case I need to hold this crossing. But now that our all of our allies are gone, sorry guys in the half track, you were a little too late. Um, we should be able to roll out of here with no problems. So put that guy there. For that, I've got a bunch of uh, Goliaths here. Put one in the woods. Woods there. Put one over here by this point. And um, now we're just waiting for my last couple guys to escape. I think the panther already made it out. So just my jag. Oh, there's my panther. It's my jag panther with <laughs> 34 infantry kills. With that gigantic 88 on it. And it looks like we're going to have to leave a couple people behind because if I send my engineers back to repair them and help them out, then uh, I won't get out of here in time. And uh, hopefully when, this, when these guys escape, it should end the mission. And we will have successfully allowed as many of our comrades as possible to escape. Nope, you guys are trapped. After me, man. Escape. Oh, there we go. When the pocket collapsed, the corridor that led my German brothers to safety became an alleyway of death. 10,000 died, 40,000 loyal German troops were captured. But because of the bravery of Tron, many more escaped. My group did not contain heroes nor martyrs. We stayed in turn and fought because we would not have been able to live with the alternative. Sleepless nights filled with the memories of those we had left behind. I spared my men that, even if they hated me for it. Because at least we did something. At least we tried. May God have mercy on those who ran. So, that was the Falaise Pocket. Um, that was basically the other side of the last couple missions on the American campaign. Um, obviously, we didn't win. <laughs> um, we had to retreat. Uh, but we did the best that we could. We allowed as many of our buddies to escape as possible. I 
thanks partly for the fact that we commandeered some pretty awesome German tanks. And speaking of tanks, the next mission I'm going to do, and I'm probably actually going to upload it with this one, is the uh, the Tiger Ace missions, which are actually pretty fun. They were, they're, they're really easy, but they're just fun and silly, so I'm probably going to update those. But anyway, thank you for watching, and have a nice day.